everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what have I been melting video. This is basically just going to consist of different wax melts and tarts and things that I've been melting and kind of give you guys an inside look um, and basically my review on the scent. So let's jump into it with the bathing garden. The first one that I have is crystallized spearmint and peppermint. I have this in the body scrub and this is absolutely fabulous. This is one of her classic scents. Um, the bottom layer is the peppermint. The top layer, which is green, is the spearmint. And to me, it smells just like Wrigley Spearmint Bubblegum. It is amazing. I get more I get more spearmint than I do peppermint, which is awesome. Um, I use this in my bedroom as a nighttime melt before I go to bed and it is so refreshing and I just love it. It it is it does kind of have like a calming effect to it also but you really get that kind of icy sugar along with the spearmint and peppermint combination. It's a really really good one. Uh, next one that I got through is Vintage Circus by The Bathing Garden, and this one um, was really, really good as well. Scent throw on this, I wish was a little bit stronger, but I also use this in my bedroom as a nighttime melt, which I do all Bathing Garden um, clamshells. But Vintage Circus is basically, I believe, blue cotton candy mixed with candied apple, and that's basically what it is. You get the sugary consistency of the cotton candy. And then you get that um, kind of like caramelized, not really caramelized, but like a sweetened kind of, kind of caramelized apple um, effect. Really, really sugary, you know, kind of apple effect towards the end. But I really love this one a lot. Definitely going to be a repurchase for me. Um, as always, I had this in my bedroom and it lasted and lasted and lasted. Always pretty strong. Um, the next one that I have is Black Velvet Cake, and this one was a really, really interesting scent from the Bathing Garden. Um, I thought it was going to be kind of like a um, Red Velvet Cake, and it kind of was, but it had something else mixed in it. Very beautiful bakery scent. This was a medium to medium high scent throw. Really, really love that a lot. Uh, but basically, it smells like red velvet cupcakes mixed with something else that was very mysterious. And I looked the scent up on um, her Facebook fan page, and I don't think it was listed. I couldn't find it. So if anybody knows what black velvet cake is, um, leave a comment uh, down below. So I also got through some front porch uh, grubby tarts, and this one was killer for me. I loved this one. This is Hydrangea in Bloom, and this was a four-pack, and this was a beautiful, beautiful, like, sky blue color. I just loved it, and the scent on this went on and on and on. I love floral scents, especially in the spring and the summer. It's kind of hard, um, you know, to get a good a good scent in the spring and the summer. Um, you know, usually you like fresh, clean scents or floral. And I loved this one. This one was definitely awesome. It only lasted a day and a half, which usually I kind of like it to last a good two days if I'm going to be using all four at the same time. I use this in my living room, wide open space. But um, excellent, excellent. And I would definitely repurchase this again. That one was a really, really good one. Then I have my classic from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is in Cherry Almond. This was a beautiful, beautiful five pack. There were five uh, tarts in here in this bag. And you got the cherry first mixed with the almond, obviously. It was strong, beautiful. If you love cherry scent, definitely get this one and try it out. Um, I had this in my living room and it was amazing. Um, it filled the whole living room up and I think I used two tarts at a time, one in each warmer and it was just amazing. This would definitely be a repurchase for me and it was a beautiful, beautiful tart. It was a baby blush pink kind of cookie and then it had um, sprinkles on the top that looked absolutely gorgeous when melted. It was, it was a really, really, really good scent. 
Next, we're going to go to Better Homes and Gardens. This is French Lilac Flowers. And this one was a really, really pretty scent. I love lilacs. I love floral. And it was just a very clean, kind of fresh floral scent that, um, you know, you would use when you open up your windows for the first time in your house and you kind of let, you know, the, the fresh air in. It was just a really good scent and I would definitely repurchase this again. Um, I use this as a blender and then I also used it on its own in the living room. Um, and I loved it both ways. You can blend it to add a little bit of floral in like a fresh, clean scent or you can just use it on its own and it was magnificent. Really liked that one a lot. Uh, next, I have Luna by Scentsy, and this I finished. This one was a really, really good scent as well. It was kind of cologne mixed with like a clean, kind of fresh scent. Um, I really liked it a lot. It wasn't really, really strong and pungent. I did use this in my bedroom as a nighttime melt, and it was just really soothing. I really, really liked it a lot. And I would probably repurchase this again if I had the opportunity to. I wouldn't like, this isn't one that I would like run out and say, oh my gosh, I need to have it. But it was a pretty good scent. And if given the opportunity, I would repurchase it again. Uh, next, I have another one here from Front Porch. And this one was awesome. This one um, is was a four pack again in the Grubby Tarts in Mountain Dew Pop. Literally, this smelled just like the Soda Pop Mountain Dew. You got the Mountain Dew soda along with that fizzy note to it. And oh my gosh, it just, it brought me back to my childhood. I don't drink soda anymore, but this definitely was like a definite dupe for Mountain Dew Soda Pop. It was really, really good. Lasted only one day, but I loved it. And yes, I would repurchase that again. That one was a really good scent. Next, from Orchid Lake Candles and Soaps, I have a two ounce wax melt in Pretty in Pink. And I actually used this last night. And I used the whole two ounces in my 18 watt uh, Yankee Candle Warmer. And I did this, um, I put it in the warmer about two hours before I went to bed. And as I drifted off to sleep, I really couldn't smell that much. Um, I couldn't smell anything, you know, during the night, you know, like when you're tossing and turning and you kind of get a whiff of like what you're melting and, you know, kind of lulls you back to sleep. This really wasn't strong for me. It was strong on cold sniff. And then when I woke up this morning, I got a little bit, a hint of it. And I'm like, oh, that's what it's supposed to smell like. You know what I mean? It didn't fill my bedroom. My bedroom isn't like a huge room. Um, so I was kind of disappointed that two ounces of wax didn't really throw. Maybe I should have put it in um, a higher wattage warmer, but it's something I wouldn't repurchase again. I really like the scent on cold sniff, but it's something I wouldn't repurchase again just because it didn't throw that strong. Uh, next, I have Ava's Country Covert in Fresh Cut Roses. And this was just one tart, and I had this in my bedroom, and holy shit did it throw it threw and threw and threw until it threw up literally it was so strong and i love rose scent and but this was roses along with something else and i can't put my finger on it it was beautiful and it lasted and lasted and it was strong i actually put this in my warmer the night before I went to bed and I left it on all the whole next day and the whole next night because it was so strong. It was beautiful. I loved it. I would repurchase this. I would actually get this in a loaf actually um, just because it was so pleasant and it was so beautiful. So that's, that's a good uh, note to make about um, Ava's. And then um, this is a, oh, a Yankee candle tart in loves me loves me not this was a an okay scent i was really surprised because usually yankee candle tarts for me i get no scent throw whatsoever i have a stash of them and i thought you know what let me try again sometimes your nose um and your senses kind of need a break from a certain brand or you know from a certain company and then you kind of can go back to them but this one threw and i was really surprised it did the scent on it was 
kind of okay. I mean, it was a very like light kind of scent and I probably wouldn't repurchase it again to be completely honest, but I was shocked that I could smell it. So that was a good thing. And then I only have one more here. Um, this is by Better Homes and Gardens and this is Lined Dried Linen. And I really like this one. I actually mixed this with where's the one that I'm oh with the French lilac flowers so I mix these two together and I use this on its own also this is a really really strong um laundry scent but beautiful again another scent where you know you open up your windows for the first time in the house and you get that breeze coming through and it just it's really really nice um you know only two bucks for the whole clamshell might as well have it on hand i would definitely repurchase this one again 2.5 ounces absolutely loved it so that is my review for all of my wax that i've been melting probably this is like a week and a half to two weeks i will be doing another review coming up very very soon so thank you guys so much don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and have a great day bye guys